I did see that you know, there is a little bit more of these localized or mild side effects associated with both PCV and 20. Do you think that's clinically relevant? Do you think it might turn pa patients off to vaccines or should I be more worried about co-administration um, with, you know, with another vaccine, say something like a COVID-19 vaccine or a flu vaccine? Well, I, I think there's a small percentage increase that was noted in the PCV15 aspect. Uh, you know, again, th none of these were serious adverse reactions. Um, so they were just no notation of tenderness. I mean, I got my influenza vaccine a few days ago. I was tender for a day or two. I would be reporting pain, right? So um, I think those expectations, and they were mild, I didn't take any medicine, um, I don't think should uh, influence very much. Certainly, there are uh, individual patients that always have had robust responses locally with pain, redness, and swelling, especially to some of the mRNA COVID vaccines, the uh, zoster vaccine, for example, or, or tetanus. So, you know, I think that we always individualize those. They tend to be a small percentage of patients, I would say.